This is a very simple model to show the lateral pharyngeal space and retropharyngeal space infections. Okay. So, see, you remember this is the buccal space over here, lateral to the buccinator. Okay. So when the, just get oriented to this glass model of the skull. Now, hope you are oriented. This is the buccinator muscle, right? This is the buccinator muscle over here. This buccinator muscle goes behind and joins with the superior constrictor of the pharynx. Hmm? If you see from below, this buccinator is joining the superior constrictor of pharynx and that joins to the opposite side of superior constrictor and then other side of the buccinator. So this circle forms the entire pharynx right so when the infection travels from buccal space post to posterior posteriorly okay from here to here that becomes lateral pharyngeal space in infection and when it goes from here to here that becomes retropharyngeal space infection okay so quite easy to understand right and whenever there is that space infection from inside the mouth you can see some swelling on lateral side of the palate okay so that's the lateral pharyngeal and retropharyngeal space